Okay, so in this video, we will look at three examples of the following problem, where in each case we want to evaluate the geometric series or show that it diverges. And if you recall, in our previous video, we derived a beautiful result about geometric series. So here's the result. If you look at an arbitrary geometric series, so summing r to the n, when n can begin at any integer up to infinity, so you can write this out, so r to the uppercase m plus r to the uppercase m plus 1, and so forth. So we're summing increasing powers of the fixed number r. The series will only converge if an absolute value r is strictly less than 1. And not only that, but if r is strictly less than 1 in absolute value, we know exactly to which value the series converges. This, in it, this infinite sum will end up being exactly, and I'll write this in this way, the first term of the series, so r to the m, over, quite simply, 1 minus r. Just a beautiful result. And if r in absolute value is larger than or equal to 1, the series diverges, so does not return a real number. So here's the first example. So what if we are summing from 0 to infinity, 4 to the n plus 1, over 5 to the n minus 2? Well, this is not exactly in the right form. We're supposed to sum from any point up to infinity powers, so the nth power, of a fixed number. Well, here we have the n plus 1 power of 4 and the n minus 2 power of 5. Well, we can split those up quite easily. Four to the n plus 1 is 4 times 4 to the n. 5 to the n minus 2 is 5 to the negative 2 times 5 to the n. So here we can do two things. We can factor this expression out of the sum as with respect to n, this is constant. So we have 4 over 5 to the negative 2 times the sum from 0 to infinity. And now both 4 and 5 are to the nth power so we can combine under a single exponent of n, and we have 4 over 5. We'll simplify this. So 1 over 5 to the negative 2 is 5 squared. 5 squared is 25 times 4 is 100. And now we have the right form for our series. We are summing the nth power from 0 to infinity of the constant number of 4 over 5. So this is now r. So 4 over 5 in absolute value is clearly strictly less than 1. So this series does converge. And we know what it converges to. Well, we have the 100, which stays there as a constant multiple, times well, the first term, well, this is when n is a 0, 4 over 5 to the 0 is simply 1 over 1 minus r, 1 minus 4 over 5. And we can simplify, so we have 100 times 1 over, 1 is 5 over 5 minus 4 over 5 is 1 over 5. So 1 over 1 over 5 is 5 times 100 is 500. So this is, well, 100 times a geometric series, and the result is 500. There you go. If you wanted to get a feeling for the series, to get a sort of a more intuitive feeling for it, you can always write out the first few terms. So if you look here, you have 100 times. And expand the series out. So you have 4 over 5 to the 0, that's 1 plus 4 over 5 to the 1 is 4 over 5, plus 
4 over 5 to the 2 plus 4 over 5 to the 3 and so forth. So you have this infinite geometric series and this part adds up to this which is 5. This really is an aside so it gives you a more concrete feeling of what's happening. So if you do 1 plus 4 over 5 plus 4 over 5 all squared plus 4 over 5 all cubed all cubed and you keep adding up consecutive powers of 4 over 5 this, this infinite sum does exist and is exactly equal to 5. Let's look at another example. So what if we are summing now and beginning at 2 up to infinity negative 5 to the n plus 1 over 2 to the 3n. So again, this is not exactly in the form of a geometric series, as we are supposed to be summing the nth power of a fixed number. Well, with a little bit of algebra, we can make this happen. First, we'll split these two up as negative 5 to the 1 times negative 5 to the n. And here we can double exponentiate. 2 to the 3n is 2 cubed all to the n. If you go backwards, when you double exponentiate, you can combine by multiplying the exponents. And I will do two things. We will factor out the negative 5 and then we'll be left with the sum as n begins from 2 to infinity and here both negative 5 and 2 cubed are under an nth power so we can combine the whole thing under a single power of n. Negative 5 over 2 cubed but 2 cubed is 8 so just negative 5 over 8. So r as we are summing the nth power of a fixed number, r is negative 5 over 8. Which again in absolute value is strictly less than 1. So we do have convergence. And now we will use our simple formula to evaluate this infinite geometric series. So this will be, well, we have the negative 5 left over times. The formula again is the first term, well, of our series, n begins at 2, so we get negative 5 over 8 squared, oops, negative 5 over 8 squared, over 1 minus r, and r again is negative 5 over 8. Now we can simplify this. So we have negative 5 times, well if you square negative 5 you get 5 squared as the square kills off the negative sign over 8 squared over minus minus is plus but 1 is 8 over 8, 8 plus 5 is 13 so this is 13 over 8. So we have what? On the numerator, negative 5 times 5 squared, so negative 5 cubed over 8 squared. And if you divide by a fraction, you multiply by its reciprocal, so times 8 over 3. We can cancel 1 8, so we're left with negative 5 cubed. Oops. over 8 times 13. Well, 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is 125, so it's negative 125, over 8 times 13. 8 times 10 is 80, 8 times 3 is 24, 80 plus 24 is 104. So, the initial series, after a little bit of work, is negative 5 times a geometric series and the end result is exactly negative 125 over 104. 
far from obvious, and again, if you want to make this slightly more concrete, expand the first few terms of the series. So you have negative 5 times. We start summing at 2, so negative 5 over 8 squared, plus negative 5 over 8 cubed, plus negative 5 over 8 to the 4, and so forth. So intuitively, again this makes it look more down to earth than this way, if you do negative 5 over 8 squared plus negative 5 over 8 cubed plus negative 5 over 8 to the 4, and you keep adding consecutive powers of negative 5 over 8 forever, and you multiply by negative 5, the exact result of negative 5 times this infinite series is exactly negative 125 over 104. Let's look at one last example. So what if we're trying to sum, as n goes from 3 to infinity, 3 to the 2n over negative 2 to the 3n. So again, this is not exactly summing the nth power of a fixed number, but with a bit of algebra, we can fix that. So 3 to the 2n is 3 squared to the n, using again double exponentiation, and negative 2 to the 3n is negative 2 cubed to the n, same argument. Both are powers of n, so we can combine under a single power. 3 squared is 9, negative 2 cubed is negative 8, so I can rewrite this as the sum as n goes from 3 to infinity, negative 9 over 8 to the n, and I we do have a geometric series, as we are summing the nth power of negative 9 over 8 as n goes from 3 to infinity, and here r is negative 9 over 8. And it's clear that the absolute value of r, which is 9 over 8, is strictly larger than 1. So, this geometric series diverges. It does not exist. And if you want to make this more concrete, as always, you can expand the first few terms of the series. So we start something when n is 3, so we'll have negative 9 over 8 cubed plus the next power, negative 9 over 8 to the 4, plus the next power, negative 9 over 8 to the 5, and so forth. And this is again a fancy word to say, as you keep adding consecutive powers of negative 9 over 8, so negative 9 over 8 cubed, plus negative 9 over 8 to the 4, and so forth, you will never get closer and closer to a fixed real number, so you get nothing out of this series, therefore it does not exist, and it diverges. And that's it.